Okay, users of C Sharp and Java who are, for whatever reason, going back to C++ or are doing C++ for the first time are going to be in somewhat similar shape to me, where I did C++ a little over 10 years ago. Actually, the book I went back to reference was published in 1997, and I was never actually great at C++. Actually, I've never been super great at any of the languages, but it's not really relevant to this. I'm posting some of the notes so that others... Get might be able to see the same things that I'm seeing and have an easy point of reference to go to. Um, what I'm covering today is what in C Sharp or Java we always love where we've got string args. It's great because you can call anything right into the console application and you've already got a nice array and it's easy to cycle through and go through. But when you look at it in C sharp or in C++ it's not nearly as easy. In fact, when you create this class, which you see in your int main, at least in Microsoft's and the other C++ versions, from what I understand, are very similar. Except for it will be just main so instead of the underscore t main. Um, you'll have the in Microsoft underscore t car instead of what I put here for car asterisk arg v. Um, looking at it, I think if you're familiar enough with C sharp, C plus plus, or any of the C like languages as far as syntax goes, you recognize what this is. Um, so basically, we just need to go ahead and include a couple of things real quick so that everything hopefully works first try. Um, And I want to use a namespace. Okay. So this is the beginning of it. Me just trying to be able to use a string arg type argument when I call the application from the command line. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and paste in the code that I want to use for this so that we don't waste our time watching me type everything. It's not long. As you can see, I've only actually added two, three, nah, if you count the brackets, like five lines of code. So really nothing at all. Um, and all we're doing here is for declare an integer i, initialize it at zero, while i is less than argc, which argc is here. Argc is going to be the number of arguments that you call into the application argc is also always going to be a minimum of one so as soon as you call the application it takes the path or the application name and the path as part of your argc count so if you were doing ping and you called ping www.google.com that's already two arguments ping for the application and then the site you're pinging um, we're not pinging but the illustration should apply so um, and then whenever we each the end of the four, we're going to go ahead and increment our i. So every time we go through it, our i is going to be zero, one, etc. Um, and then all we are actually doing here, there we're declaring a string as the current argument, and here we write out the current argument as standard or as and then an end of line. Okay, so do a compile so I've got a good executable real quick, and then we do this. Okay, so we're just gonna call it string args.exe since that's what I called it um, fs forward slash help okay we enter and there we go first argument s second f so looks good so far s again and then it's not help so we're at least sort of there but it's not echoing the line um, instinct from C sharp or Java would be well yeah cuz you really should have that argument of an array of strings not gonna work instead what we have to do actually doesn't entirely make sense to me um, because it's not a coding thing it's not something you just put in um, instead you've got to change your character set here under your configuration properties general from unicode character set to use multibyte character set once you've done that we recompile it again and then when we call that application, we see that it does work. I get the entire help. And in fact, we can now call whatever we want, and it completely makes sense. There we go. So now on that one, we had 
argument or string args as our zero since that's always used h help and me so it is now working exactly like we would expect string args when you call a C-sharp or Java application. That's really all I have for this little walkthrough. Hope that made it easier if you were struggling with something silly, similar to how I was a couple days ago when I was trying to get this working in another application. Thanks. Bye.